It's a delight and a privilege to be here with, uh, with Lyndon, uh, Nathan, Cody and, uh, and uh, Brent uh, as they start on the path of a canoe building project called Gubby Gubby Canoe Project. The canoe uh, we see would be something that the community would use for their celebrations and their gatherings. And perhaps another one, uh, perhaps the prototype might uh, go into uh, a community collection of sorts, but uh, we certainly see it as an item to be used. Very privileged to be here. I'm pretty inspired, really, of what I've seen. You know, we, we've, uh, we've been thinking about it for a long time. We've been thinking about it, well, I have, I know I, ha I have, and I, I've been telling my cousins there for a while too, you know, about, you know, because we've got that many rivers around our area and uh, uh, a lot of waterways, Everglades up there at Noosa, you know, we've got the Noosa River, we've got the Maroochy River, we've got the Malula River, and we've got the Mary River. And so, you know, uh, it's sort of common sense, really, when you think about it, uh, you know, hunting and gathering off the water there and... Uh, using the plants uh, and trees available in our, our district. And we're lucky that um, we've got some swamp mahoganies that we've come across in our country and we were looking at them there. We were actually looking for, lawyer came that time, eh, for axes and axe handles. And the next minute we're looking over and, hey, what's those big dark body in the, in the viney country? We walk through a little, and the biggest swamp mahoganies and we're just, you know... Uh, drooling there, you know, uh, we're, we're going to make a canoe out of these fellas. Now we, we know, because uh, a lot of the mahoganies we've seen were only small fellas. Um, and so, yeah, you definitely need a bit of uh, a tree there to work with. The bigger the tree, the, the better. So, um, so um, you know, we're, we're in the process of doing it. And, uh, you know, we're very privileged to come down here and to um, share in some ideas and, and definitely learn some, some new things that we hadn't sort of known before. But... Uh, yeah, and some images there of uh, the artworks that we, we do. We get into all the artworks. We get into stone uh, flint napping and, and uh, you know, making spearheads and spears and throwing boomerangs, making boomerangs. But we all you know, love, love getting into our culture and there's a lot more for us to learn. And when we do learn it, we, we definitely like to pass it on. A couple of years back... Uh uh, myself, uh, Lyndon, uh, Brent over there, um, and another natural fibre artist from on the Sunshine Coast, Chris Martin, uh, we all got together um, and Lyndon and Brent had started to uh, create some amazing artwork. And we all got together and we thought we'd like to look at, a, uh, I guess, a slightly more innovative way of trying to display some of this artwork. And we thought we wanted to get it out further than just local or to the local mob. We wanted to try and get it out there a bit. So we thought, oh... What's, uh, you know, where can we go so a lot of people are going to see this? Um, so we're sort of having a bit of a, bit of a think and there's a, a festival up our way called the Woodford Festival. You might have heard of that one. And um, it gets about 90,000 people through it over the seven days. And we thought, well, that's a good place. You know, we might be able to... Uh, we might be able to get some people to see it there. So we had a talk to the festival um, and uh, we explained our concept and they, and they supported us by putting in there. So what we did was um, we didn't try to recreate... Uh, a traditional canoe uh, structure or anything like that. We, t we took a much more uh, symbolic or totemic approach to uh, that process um, and we also utilised uh, new media uh, as well. So uh, what we did is we um, constructed three uh, symbolic canoes um, and we utilised a lot of Lyndon's artwork and some uh, old imagery as well that influenced... Uh, that and we and we put it in to create uh, this installation which we had at Woodford, um, and that went for the seven days there at Woodford.